What is up, YouTube? Have a coffee? Maybe? Anyway, pissing slap here, and today it's going to be kind of strung out throughout the day. Uh, we're going to make a couple different videos. Um, what we're doing today is changing the gears or sprockets, changing the sprockets on the bike. A uh, couple of reasons. I want a little bit more power out of the hole. Sprockets are kind of a cheap way to do that. Uh, to slow the bike down on the top speed for the straightaways. And the reason I say this is um, from past experiences that I'm not admitting to, but also videos that I've come across uh, out on YouTube. And I'll throw a link uh, right here if I can. If not, just go down to the descriptor if you want to see how fast one of these 636s will go. Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, from what I've seen, it's about 175 miles an hour on the limiter. And I don't know if that's fuel cutoff or RPM limiter. But Jesus Christ that is moving you figure at about that speed it's uh, just a little bit shy of a football field every second think about how fast that is that's your body moving a full entire length of a football field in about a second I mean it's exciting it'd be if it was on a track that these people were doing it where I was watching it, but it has no place on the street. At least here in the US, I don't, I'm sure the Autobahn, you can run it out like that, but anybody can ride a bike straight fast. I like corners and twisties, as you can see in my videos. But uh, to give you guys an idea, I'm gonna kind of do a before and after gear comparison test so catch a stoplight up here or something like that and we'll do every gear up to 4,000 rpm just to see what the differences are uh, this particular bike won't need any kind of tuner or speedo healer uh, because it picks its speed reference up off of the rear wheel speed reluctor uh, it's kind of like ABS, if it had ABS, but it's the same uh, reluctor for the ABS, if that makes sense. Uh, and that's for the traction control on this, this bike. I'm going to own a bike. I'm going to make it my own. Adding stickers. Stuff are cool, but it be perfect. So, alright guys, we'll do it. 4,000 RPM every year see what our speed is versus RPM and then after we're done with the gears I'll tag that video to the back of this one via editing and we'll see so 4,000 RPMs is about 20 miles an hour first gear 25 second gear 30 and third 37 and fourth 42 and 5th, 44 and 6th, 46, I'm sorry, 46 miles an hour and 6th gear, holding up traffic and stuff, but they don't understand the needs that we have as motorcyclists. Of course, it's a work day, so everybody's heading to work. I'm heading to work, but I'm off today, but that's where... That's where I like to do all my my fun stuff. Sitting at home in the garage, all I have is the saw and a screwdriver, and I don't think that's going to cut it for what I want to do. And the reason, uh, if you guys are wondering why I did 4,000 RPMs, is because I mean I could do five, but this is legally not enough uh, speed on the roadway. I mean, we're limited to 45 out here on the streets and 
closer I get to town, the slower they want us to go. So that being said guys, we'll uh, check you on the flip side, let you know what we come across. And for a link of that sprocket slash gear install, depending on what you want to call it, they are sprockets, but you always hear people say I, I geared my bike. Um, I have a link right here for you. You can go check that out. All right, guys, we got our new uh, sprockets on. We're down one in the front, up two in the back. Sprockets choice were from Vortex Racing. Uh, put a link down in the description below for their webpage if you're interested in picking up a set of sprockets for your bike. I did go with uh, steels on mine just because I wanted the longevity out of them. I'm not really concerned about the lightweight. I uh, don't go to tracks or anything like that so it's not really going to make a, a difference and bang for the buck, uh, steel is going to give me what I want. So when we get a second and we're out of traffic, uh, we'll check those uh, RPM to mile per hour and see what, what we dropped, uh, what we gained, anything like that. And I'm going to go do a ride today. I'm going to do a lot of riding today. Just give you guys a quick idea. Running uh, right at 60 is uh, just under 6,000 RPM. All right, so 4,000 RPMs is about 18 miles an hour, or 19 actually. Second gear is 24. Get out here and do third gear. Third gear is 29. All right guys, so we gave you third gear speed, so let's get this pitch up to 4,000 on here. And that's 33 miles an hour, roughly. Maybe we'll get five now. All right, five. Fifth gear is 38 miles an hour. And sixth gear is 41. There you have it, there's the differences. I'll uh, post the net gains here on the side of the screen for you. Pull those up and you can see the differences with the gearing. There, we'll just move on out. Guys jumping off the bridge. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. Right. How you doing? Good. All right, let's go. Isn't that water cold? It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I've never jumped off the bridge in my life. I thought it was illegal to jump off the bridge, honestly. I think it is actually. I know uh, a few years ago when I first came up here for visiting, we used to float the river down in Boise and they would say that that bridge or something, people would jump off and get